Anytime I think of Tessa, I think happy thoughts. I remember her laugh. I remember her and her dreams. First time she got on a surfboard and stood up. She looked like a little stick of olive oil on a surfboard. You know, she's surfing in heaven, you know? She is. She's on a surfboard, so. It's the worst thing that ever happens in your life, losing a child. I just grabbed from the 16 years I had with him. The guy who killed my daughter ran into her at 70 miles an hour at a stoplight, Alfredo Ramos. After the investigation, we found out that he was here illegally. If we had done what the law says after he had his first DUI, his first felony, he wouldn't have been at that time and place, and those girls wouldn't have died. This issue ties into a bigger picture, and the politicians have been slow to get it. We in Congress should wake up and, and listen to those who have been hurt by our failure to act. And what I've read about you, you feel like I do. I have absolutely no animosity toward any particular group of people. I don't even have animosity for the guy who killed my daughter. He went to prison for 40 years. He killed two young girls. I'm not so sure he would have gotten that now. The executive orders, the inability to hold people past a certain point. Sanctuary cities do not feel that they must call ICE. That is what defines a sanctuary city, that they prevent the federal government from knowing the immigration status of their people. We're not asking for anything radical. Asking for our police and sheriffs to follow the law of the land, and that's it. And if you did that, we'd avoid some of these tragic situations. Right, which happen about once a day. I didn't really get active until I got some of the information from the police, and then I went to the trial. And after that, I thought, I'm going to be an activist. I'm at least going to get the word out about what happens and the pain that it causes if we don't have fairer immigration standards. It becomes more passionate when it's your family, it's your kid. I've met with 15 or 20 legislators. I've sat into two congressional hearings on immigration reform, told my story. This is the cost of not fixing the system. This is the cost.